Part 2, Using the Rubric for Grading. To grade an assignment that a student has submitted, open SpeedGrader from any assignment, graded discussion, or quiz. You can open the SpeedGrader tool in various areas of your course. From Grades, locate the Assignment column by scrolling horizontally and select the drop-down arrow and select SpeedGrader. You can also access SpeedGrader from the assignment itself. Select SpeedGrader. But probably the most common way is to click on the grade link on your to-do list from either your Canvas dashboard or your course homepage. Once you've accessed the SpeedGrader tool, you'll notice that you have a student submission and a student list in this top area. Select the student list drop-down to locate a student submission. To use the rubric for grading, click View Rubric. To view the entire rubric window, you may need to scroll both vertically and horizontally by using the scroll bars. To resize the rubric window, click and drag the sizing column horizontally. For each criterion, click the rating that applies to the student submission. The selected rating displays the rating value in the points field. If a criterion includes a range, clicking a rating selects the entire range and defaults to the highest value in the range. To select a different value within a range, type the value in the points field. You can manually enter points above the criterion maximum point value. Each criterion value adds to the student's total points. When using a rubric that includes institutional outcomes, the same outcome level should be selected as the preceding rubric criterion. Failure to select the same institutional outcome will result in inaccurate data collected related to institutional assessment. Here's a special note about the institutional outcomes. The points listed in the institutional outcomes rows, which are denoted by the bullseye icon, do not contribute to the student grade. Notice how a regular rubric row will update the total points in the bottom right-hand corner. But when the institutional outcome is selected, the total points are unaffected. That is simply because these rows are for tracking assessment and not for grading. Click the Save button. If you set your rubric for grading, the rubric points will be automatically populated in the grade field. Otherwise, you can enter the grade from the rubric manually. You can add a comment for general feedback to the student. Press Submit to complete the grading. Please note, students that do not submit an assignment should not be scored with the rubric.